I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your horoscope overview for this coming week, Capricorn. Okay, so we have full moon this week towards the end of the week, and it's in your solar eighth house. This is very much to do with official business. Uh, it is a, a money area of your chart. In fact, there's quite a lot going on around finances this week for you. Uh, the sun is in your uh, solar second house and it's to do with money and possessions and Mercury is going to move back into this area um, later in the week as well. Now Mercury's transit uh, is, is on its retrograde transit so it's moving back into this area of your chart. So um, even though there, there are some very uh, beneficial aspects this week to do around money there is like a warning that you need to be firstly with the full moon don't agree to anything rash uh, make sure you build yourself in a little bit of time to think things through uh, secondly get everything checked so if you do have to sign an official document over this period then make sure you give it to someone who knows what they're doing you don't want to tie yourself up with uh, something you can't get out of easily simply because you know you number one you didn't take the time to look at the fine print or you just that's simply not your area of expertise I mean let's face it Capricorn you can't be great at everything all right so make sure you get a specialist to to look at it other than that on a day-to-day basis just to do with communication and around money you want to just check everything check your change um, um, make sure your statements and, and everything around you, your bank is in order. It's not like someone is out to uh, rip you off or, or anything like that. But, you know, we're, we're still human. Even though we've got all these computers and technology, we're still basically uh, human errors can happen. So you want to just be aware, look after yourself, okay? Now, Venus is in your sign still. Very nice for, uh, for love and intimate um, relations and just connecting with people a more social sort of vibe and if you can just allow yourself to have a little bit of balance in your life and social activity then certainly Venus over this period can help you do that it's out of its retrograde transit um, so this is a good time I'm a Capricorn as, as you've been watching me you'll know and I, that's certainly one of my uh, goals right now is to try and get more balance in my life and very very hard for us Capricorns because we always want to do that next very last thing um, in our schedule so uh, if you like if you like me then my objective is to try and plan less in every day easier said than done okay but something for us to uh, you know look at doing now Mars is still sitting in our solar 10th house of business so that sort of puts a little bit of urgency on things that we you know have got going there is a very positive aspect between Mars and the Sun so this is like business and money okay so it's like it looks great um, and I certainly hope so for us um, but you know but don't forget the that you do need to just watch the fine print okay have a great week Capricorn and love and luck to all of you I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching